He wants a little piece of me. I, w I really wish you would take a piece. That'd be great. Oh, he's he's constricting me so so tough. Right. So this guy right here is basically, um, you know, I'm triggering him. Oh God, is that thing gorgeous? Look at this friggin' thing. <laughs> if we only had some sun, this snake is friggin'. Let's go. Maybe we'll come over here. <laughs> Kevin's gonna be very upset this winter. Look at that. <laughs> All snakes are evil. Look, we have to pose our snakes with evil malice and ill intent. And after this, I'm gonna worship Satan. Queen of pet tube about us in a video. Whoever they didn't is. use our name though. Oh, I'm sorry. Whatever. Uh, the queen of Taylor Nicole Dean. You gotta say her name. You gotta you gotta you gotta give her uh, the power. Taylor Nicole Dean. Yeah. Hi Taylor Nicole Dean. Yeah. Um, she'll never watch our videos. Dude. That's all right. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, it's okay. I don't watch her videos either. So. I do. I've been seeing this trend go around. This video trend of people peeling their sheds off of their snakes. It's not every day that Taylor Nicole Dean makes a video that uh, we can comment on because usually she's just like, here are my things, check out my cool reptile room, let me feed all my animals, I'm addicted to heroin. Things like that. Taylor makes this video and our comment section is flooded with snowflakey, misinformed snake keepers or mostly non-snake keepers that are pleading with us not to, not to upload these videos because we are hurting our snakes. The snakes aren't trying to bite us or do anything else crazy or acting like a snake that's mad, but we're clearly harming them. But the problem with this is when there is a viral trend going around, everyone kind of jumps on it that can do whatever that trend is, you know? Don't do things that make people want to watch your videos. That is literally what my job is, to figure out what people want to watch and put it in a, in a video. And unfortunately, I don't have a massive audience where I can just like regurgitate garbage and put it in a video every day and people watch it. No, we have to try a little harder. So if I figure out that like peeling a snake's shed makes people watch us and like us more, you bet your butt I'm gonna do it. Um, but that gibberish, I couldn't believe you guys actually doing a video having to like set the record straight and justify about shedding snakes and all of that. Um, sadly, things get twisted out of shape and uh, generally, I think very rarely you're gonna get me to spit out a bunch of nonsense and I uh, certainly be people challenging me, um, but shedding snakes in the manner that we talked about, Jeremy did a really good explanation, I thought, uh, talking about it, uh, you know, you really can't beat knowledge and this emotional, well, I feel, I feel this, well, I feel my cute little D. Alberts python is cute like a kitty cat. I'm an idiot. I keep cats. I treat my cats like they're cats and I treat my snakes like they're snakes. A tyrosinase albino or a T-positive albino D. Alberts python and uh, this is a glorious animal. Hi, buddy. I know, Donnie. Do you have a regular D. Alberts python here to show for comparison? Yeah, we have regular D. Alberts. So, look at that. So this animal is just, if we had some sunlight. It, it is uh, very orange right now, I promise it you. It is so orange. It's got a good grip on me. So basically this animal is out of the wild originally. He's been in captivity for a while. So he's, he's getting pretty established now. Uh, he's feeding well. He's um, starting to sweeten up too, uh, less inclined to biting. And uh, he's starting, you know, we can socialize him and uh, get him to start trusting people. You never know, you know, when these animals are caught, they go through many different hands. And generally the people that are uh, sourcing these animals, um, these are just a, it's a resource or something that they engage where they, they will catch these things. They'll sell them generally for the pet trade, but a lot of these animals are actually killed for skins. Not so much with Diabras, but although I don't know as much about wild Diabras as many people, but they're certainly not common enough 
to be killed and skinned, but they are um, aimed for the pet market or whatever. So in a rarity such as this, which is ultra rare, this is the second one that I've ever seen. And for years, I always just kind of dreamed about the, the picture I'd seen of one of these, or a couple pictures now. But I remember when it came out of the wild, and so it has like this dark head, and it has this orange body. And uh, this is just beautiful. So this is going to make a nice breeding project. The Alice pythons are um, not a very large sized animal. So an animal, you know, five or six foot for D. Alberts would be pretty, pretty big. And uh, they're a little nippy as babies. And that's just, they tend to be a little bit, re oh God, he is putting down the hammer on me. Is, that, is it tightening up on you real good? There he goes. I don't really <laughs> care. He just had my finger bent. And what do you want to, so you want to breed this to a normal and... Yeah, you're going to breed it to a normal D'Albert. So if I breed this to a normal wild type, I'll produce heterozygous gene carriers. So the genotype is heterozygous for tyrosinase positive, T positive albino. And the phenotype, phenotype is they look normal, but they carry this recessive gene. So I'm just basically making friends with them. So I speak snake. Fluently, so is it parcel tongue? Don't you not know that word? I don't know this. I'm sorry, Harry guys. Potter. Oh I, my god, I, I I don't know anything. <laughs> That's just, the word you I should just, learn. You know, it's like I'm a weirdo, I just play with bugs and snakes and fish and uh, a lot of cool things monarch butterflies and chipmunks. Yeah, you like you have a lot of uh, insect intelligence that you flex randomly. Ooh, is that a sand spider? I have ant no, it's an antlion. I have a colony uh, of antlions. As a kid, I was mental <laughs> antlion freak bag. So I could sit here and take a, a piece Johnny of grass. This. No, piece no. Of, piece no, of grass. All about this. I love this. And find the cones near on the edge of the houses and put that there, and the antlion would grab the grass. They're really cute. If you look in here, you can see his little little mouth parts there. Oh yeah. Um, yeah, there's there's five. I don't really the lens. This, so guys, there's them. some speckled things in the sand. I don't know what those they are. Fruit are. Those are fruit flies. Those are okay. dead. Those are dead fruit flies. Dead fruit flies. These are the larval stage of a winged antlion. Oh, cool. Really you know what I've cool. kept before? What? Tiger beetles. Yeah. And they are those mad are cool. crazy. And then you get the larva, and the larva make these little burrows, and it sits <clears> over their head, and then you can feed them things like wax worms. But a tiger beetle, if the tiger beetle was the size of a pit bull, we'd be dead. Yeah, because they just eat everything. Super active, super fast, super fast, like fast, fast, fast. Yep. And they're smart. A they're smart bullet. as sin. Mm -hmm. And so like emerald tiger beetles or purple tiger beetles. And Donnie, you probably have no idea what a tiger beetle is. No, but uh, but uh, come on, they're man. Shiny, I'm listening. They're pretty. When I go snake hunting, a lot of times I go to these areas where you go to these hot sandy areas, and they'll you'll scare them and they'll fly ahead of you and land and run around and try to kill everything. And then when you get near them, they boop and fly away. And then they keep just going down the trail. Do you know what I'm talking about? I just like when I've he's excited them. about stuff. Mm -hmm. When you look like you want to be filming stuff, this is what I want. This is, you're excited today. You're in a good mood. You're no. excited about bugs. Oh, well, now you ruined you're gonna... it. No, I didn't. No, Took them back. You just hide my Nina <laughs> my now. My name is Nina and I want to talk about millipedes. Giant, oh. highly millipedes. They're <laughs> And they come from I'm so excited! Oh my god. Go. Oh. <laughs> oh, you guys want to see my cool anoles? <laughs> These are my friendly Cuban night anoles. Impossible! I have Miho and Miha. Oh my god. Miha's a little bit faster, but Miho's really good. No! These guys are typically really angry and defensive. Yeah. Uh, but these ones only know love. Kevin is struggling. Mia's a little weird. You gotta like make her jump out and then she's okay. So these guys, besides eating a lot of insects, they, look at that, oh. it's getting tough. Yeah, she's like, will oh, eat okay. other lizards. Uh, oh. She looks so good. Is that what her problem is? Is it him? him? Yeah, he chases her all the time. I mean, even in that huge enclosure. I... All right, since we did that arboreal video, I guess I don't think I showed off enough handling of some of these type snakes. You didn't show off enough handling? Yeah, it wasn't like, hand I was talking. Yeah. So I felt like I was significantly true. boring everybody. So <laughs> I'll, I'll show a little bit of uh, just playing with a few of these. Do it up. So this is, um, 
Once again, it's an Amazon Basin Emerald. She's like, leave me alone. But uh, an animal like this is, so we have a prehensile body. Prehensile means that the very, even the very tip of the tail has the ability to hook and then support the weight of that snake. Um, an animal like this, so this is a boa constrictor. So that means this is live young. These are rare. They're hard to get because you no longer get these out of the wild for a long time because these are essentially uh, Brazilian and Peruvian. So uh, basically your stuff is, or your stock is sourced as multi-generations, captive, bred and born. And uh, so they're rare. You just don't have a good supply. So a baby of one of these animals could easily be, you know, uh, $4,000 or greater. So the bigger, more exaggerated vertebral stripe down the vertebrae, the dorsal area, that tends to be uh, what people are desiring. Um, these get larger than northern emeralds. So you go to an expo and you see something for like $350. That's a northern emerald. That's wild caught. Something like this is captive born. This animal is like over three years old now. This one's a little different. It's got, um, the white is not exactly white down its back. I'll pull out another one because I just wanted to show you a difference. But this one's got like yellow. She's also got yellow on her face. It's pretty sweet. I don't know if you're seeing that. Yeah, we can, we can see yellow. This is driving you crazy. You can't see what I see. Well, very rarely uh, do Amazon Basin Emeralds want to bite. But uh, this one, I woke them up and a little irritated. And I can just tell by the behavior of this animal. This animal's on point. And so my hand is going to give a really big heat signature. And he wants to go for what just kind of took him off his perch. But you can see how beautiful a snake that is. So an animal like this has very long teeth and he's got this muscles, the muscles on the back of its head, which can really sink those teeth down deep into my hand, into my flesh. So when he bites, he's going to commit to that. And it's only because he's basically just a little bit freaked out. So I'm just reading the, the attitude of this animal. I'm using the lid to basically uh, reduce any kind of uh, situation. I think when a snake does bite you, it actually can be a little bit traumatic. It's a very, uh, especially if the person pulls away or, or whatever. Um, I just don't want to get bit by this animal. So my ability is to recognize that this animal is a little bit, he keeps on coming down because my hand's warm. Oh yeah. See there that? it is. Yep. There it is. <laughs> so, but it shows you, you can definitely manage an animal like this. I would never hold this animal behind its head unless I was having to deal with like an infected tooth or something like that. But this animal's definitely telling me where it's at. See that oh, nice oh. zigzag. Looking for trouble. Yep, definitely <laughs> looking for trouble. What a cool snake. Little female.